Hello, people. This is Toon Topaz, and this is technically a voice reveal video, but also I wanted to try something different by putting my voice over speed paints I do. Um, so today I'm going to uh, be uh, redrawing um, a very old drawing of Dipper and Mabel from Gravity Falls that I made when I was maybe 13. And sorry in advance for the audio quality being bad and my voice being hesitant and just overall not very conf just general bad bad because one I don't have a microphone two this is my first time actually recording my voice for a video and third it's not actually scripted so sorry if it's all a bit rambly or just unprofessional overall so the first thing I really wanted to fix were those god awful poses like they're both just standing up straight in the middle of nowhere um, with really wonky anatomy, not to mention, so uh, I tried, definitely tried to go for something a bit more dynamic with this weed wall. Um, definitely, I, want, I definitely wanted to go the very cartoony route. So um, there you can see I was um, sketching out a few poses, trying to see what, um, what fit best. And eventually I found something I was pretty happy with, so um, yeah. When, when I was sketching, I also noticed that the expressions definitely needed to be improved upon. Uh, most of this is mainly just general improvement, but it's also the, these really bland expressions on different Mabel's face, like they look almost dead. So yeah, what I was going for really is just to make this a, bit, a lot more interesting and I guess just better overall. <laughs> As you can see also, Mabel is now looking at the camera rather than at some, off to some random place in the distance like she's in the original. I don't know why I drew her like that, I just, it just looks really just terrible in general. I also uh, use, used to use um, GIMP for my digital art. Which is not bad, and it came with my tablet, so it, that, that it was just convenient. But uh, now I've upgraded to a much better uh, drawing program, a Clip Studio Paint for that matter. The whole thing is just much easier to do, and just much better in general. I don't think I even had layers on GIMP. I don't think I knew how to use layers. Anyway, um... So yeah, I started doing the line art, uh, which is really choppy and pixelated because of GIMP's quality in the original. Um, I definitely wanted to try and uh, play with the pen brush a little bit and uh, play with line weights, which, um, to be honest, the thick line art has always been one of my has always been um, something I really enjoyed. It's much easier to line this way, and it also looks very clean overall once you're finished. One of the main inspirations behind doing uh, redraw is, well first of all I like redrawing of my old art, it's quite interesting to see how far I've come. And second of all, that is just one drawing I really, really think is, has not aged well at all. Like between now and when I was 13 I've improved so much and I think it's, it's a great idea to just redraw this so it reflects my current skill level. 
because oh boy that office I'm going to keep saying this but that was not a good look it was I was somewhat proud of it at the time but you know how things change also I gave Mabel a pleated scoot and I uh, poofed up his sweater to the max um, because like in the original it's kind of form-fitting there's no creases or anything either for the colouring um, the original has some really weird colour combinations it doesn't blend well together it's a bit eye bleeding I think I did do I, th I did use the colour dropper from the um, original show for that but it just didn't really go well with my style at that point so I just completely revamped the shape completely changed the, the rare colour now and I also gave them these cute little um, the, the cute little um, signs from the cipher wheel in their eyes I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be a cute thing to do like Mabel's got a star and Dipper's got a pine tree I also gave them brown eyes because their eye is never really confirmed in the show so we had, had to do so, had to give them something Something I forgot to mention while recording the pose segment, but Mabel's pose with the finger in the air and her arm raised on the original, I didn't want to change it to, I didn't want to just completely draw a different um, piece of Gravity Falls fan art, so I uh, basically yeah, I kept the main elements of the poses. Mabel's still got her arm outstretched, but now she's doing a, she's flashing a peace sign. And Dipper's still got the journal under his arm. So, you know, that's there. Something I'd like to talk about is the shading, which I picked a style of I picked cell shading on the weed wall, but on the original it was just really bad. I was like airbrushing all of the uh, same colour, just slightly darker, directly onto the colouring layer, and it just looks really, really messy and not appealing at all. Like, word of advice: do your shading on a separate layer. I mean, I don't really know what I'm talking about here, but cell shading. Just looks so much nicer with the multiply with the multiply layer setting is how I usually prefer to do my shading. Sometimes I try other things, but cell shading is generally the thing that looks the best. I also use a different colour of shading for the um, different areas of the f of um, the face. Like the eyes are like blue, and the um, skin and hair are pink with pink shading. Uh, I never go for black shading. It looks really, uh, it, it looks kind of flat. The colours really just. The coloured shading really helps pop the colours a bit more, so that's why I went with that. As you can see, I was kind of stumped on which colour to pick for Mabel's sweater. I didn't know whether to go with pink or purple. And for the highlights, I just do what I normally do, which is um, just put on an overlay layer and uh, add on a few different highlights depending on where the light is shining from. I put little uh, blobs on the skin to make it to make it look a bit more shiny. And the, you don't really need highlights, but I like to add them because it's it's fun and also it just makes everything a bit more shiny. 
And it works especially well if you're doing a cartoony style where you don't need realistic shading or lighting, which is nice. I changed the colour of the line art to make it uh, suit better and I also put a uh, triangle in the background in homage to the little Bill Cipher I'd added on the side of the, pi of the picture. Because I, I was debating adding him but I eventually did decided not to. So that's that for this speed paint and also uh, my first uh, voice reveal video. Uh, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. Uh, let me know uh, what I can do to improve my audio <laughs> because it's, as of now I'm not very good at it. Um, I'll provide links to the music used in the background in the description. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoyed. Um, have a good day. Bye bye.